Have you ever thought about going to pick up people from the airport? Now, whatever state or city that you live in, I notice that every airport is different, right? So that's not too surprising. But the most common thing is most airports do not identify where is the ride share lot. So if you're Uber or Lyft driver, in order to pick up passengers from the airport, you need to first find the ride share lot for that particular airport in order to get in queue. Hey, hey, I'm Patricia, your rideshare angel, and I am happy to be contributing a few of my videos to the rideshare guide team. So in this video, I am going to take you to the Houston airport, George Bush International Airport. It's not until you drive up into the rideshare parking lot, and then that's when you get into queue. So you're not gonna be able to get in the queue just driving straight into the airport. I used to think this was like some secret society stuff because I've been doing the airport series for about a few months now. And I've noticed out of the many different airports, Philly, Dallas, Austin, you name it, San Antonio. The common thing is none of them tell you where the ride share lot is. So you pretty much have to know someone or maybe just stumbled over and I don't know lucky you if you just stumbled over because most of them don't have any sign welcome to you Houston with play is play also the home of Beyonce <laughs> well we are here turning into George W International Airport and what I noticed is that their ride share lot is so much further away from the airport terminal I don't even know who designed this, okay? Make a left onto Will Clayton, okay? And right now we're sitting on Lee Drive. So it all depends on which side you come through. And this is a one-way street. And so we're gonna follow this one way because the ride share lot is on the other side. I got lost a few times before I found the ride share lot. This is why I'm doing these videos to help you so you won't get lost. I'm going to think I'm about to turn here, but um, nope, wrong turn. Let's get back over. So let's speed it on up. So now we're going to make a left here. I'm a landmark type of girl. So what you're going to see is the shell there over to your right. Also, you have the La Quinta hotel and a bunch of woods <laughs> and a Burger King over there so you're gonna make a left because again this is a one way you, this is the only way you can go now please do not blink your eyes because if you blink your eyes you're gonna miss the rice share lot there's no signs I promise you so now we're going to get over to our right lane and right there where you see that Ramada N let that be a landmark but you want to turn right here into this lot nothing there's nothing that says anything about uber and lyft so if you were a new driver and you just wanted to be at the airport how would you know and you just pull into this parking lot that is so far away from the terminal why would you think that it is a ride share lot for uber and lyft the airports are starting to pick up a little as we know and now as soon as you drive into this lot that's when you get into queue. And so now you're just pretty much letting you know which number you are for the next person to get a ride. And this is a hand washing station. They have two porta potties here. And now I'm going to get ready to head out and head to the terminal. Let's assume that I have a passenger. And now, of course, at this time, the app does show you how to go get your passenger. But the main reason for these videos is to show you how to get to the ride share lot so you could be able to get in queue to be able to pick up a passenger. So now we're going to exit out. What I find so interesting about these airports and the setup for Uber and Lyft, I can imagine how impatient some passengers might be if they have waited to, once they got their bags and now they're out waiting for us by the terminal, we are a 
quite a distance. I would say at least maybe about two miles, if not more, away from the terminal. So as you see, you can take it from Lee Drive or you can come down Willie, Will Clayton. It all depends on which highway you come from. But um, Texas have some pretty, Texas is big, so Texas have some pretty big airports. They're not the largest, I believe. I don't know where they rank at, but most airports in common, they all have a long way to get to the terminal, terminal before we pick up the passenger. So follow me. You want to get over to your far right. Ooh, ooh. Um, so you get over to your far right and we follow the signs. And again, at this time, now I'm just simply following the app that's going to connect me to the area where my passenger is. But I just wanted to show you and complete the trip. So now, as you see, we're still driving, driving, driving. And this even with me speeding up the video, guys. <laughs> and then we pull into here, and there's an attendant right there. He directs you on where to go. And then you pull up right behind these cars. And... I definitely would like to apologize for my dirty windows. I'm sorry I was driving and a lot of bugs were coming towards my window. So I definitely apologize for that. So now at this time, you pick the passenger up, you select that you're going to go take them to their destination and your app will be able to direct you from there. I hope you really like this video. Please let me know if there's another airport in your city or state that you would like for me to do an airport series on. I really enjoy doing this because I have found this to be very interesting out of the few airports I've been to so far. Only one really shows you where the ride share lot is. And they, by the time I found out where that was, I was already in front of the ride share lot and I've already been lost many times. I don't know about you, but have do any of y'all like to pick up at the airport some people don't some people do it really is a, a individual preference i know some people that sit at the airport throughout the day and that's all they do is airport runs and they make pretty good money um and then i also know some people who just kind of do airport runs when they drop someone off at the airport and then if they they'll sit there and then they'll leave the airport and probably won't come back unless another trip brings them back what i've noticed in my airport series there are or so many airports that do not identify where the rideshare lot is, which probably discourages a lot of drivers from even wanting to pick up anyone from the airport simply because they don't know where is that. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I know a lot of drivers drop passengers off to the airport, but how many of them really go back and find the rideshare lot? Hmm. And some drivers really don't feel that they should, that they make money at the airport because they're sitting there longer and you feel like you make you can make many trips in between your sitting but ha ha a lot of people do make pretty good money at the airport you know why because sometimes people take longer trips from once they fly in so they're not even they're not always just going right around the corner sometimes they're even going to another airport i picked up a passenger from one airport and took them to another airport maybe it probably was an inexpensive way for the passenger to travel however i'm very happy you get a longer trip more money please remember to subscribe click the notification bell so you'll be notified because we upload videos every week until next time bye Thank you.